Hello YouTube, Sam from youtube.com slash onlivegamer here for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about variables. Now variables are one of the most important parts of programming. There's no possible way to make a program without variables. So um, let's go ahead and get started and we'll create a variable here. Now to create a variable in Visual Basic you're going to start off with the keyword dim. Now what this tells the compiler is that you're going to declare a variable. So if you read this right here from IntelliSense, it says that the dim statement declares and allocates or here declares and allocates new storage space for one or more variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to type dim, and then after this, you can type whatever name you want as long as it contains valid characters. Now, there's a list that you can find a list of valid characters uh, online or invalid characters. So um, we're just going to start off by calling it my num. Now you can name this whatever you feel like. And now after we tell the compiler uh, what the name of our variable is going to be, we're going to type as. So this just says, specifies the data type in the dec declaration statement. So we're just going to tell the compiler what kind of data type it's going to be. And so we're going to make ours an integer. And so you can see that a little green line comes under that and it is a warning here and it says unused local variable not my num so when you're making programs if you never use a variable the error list is going to tell you in the warning so that you can take that out and make your program more efficient but we're going to be using my num so we're just going to ignore that warning for right now so now what we're going to do is we're going to assign my num so we'll type my num equals 5 now if we do console dot write line my num and then we'll do console dot read line if we go ahead and run this it's gonna say five right there now what we can do is we can instead of putting this in two lines we can go ahead and set the value of our variable in the declaration line so we can set it equal to five there now the reason I showed you the two line method uh, before that is because sometimes you're going to be declaring a variable in one of your subs and then later on in your subs you're going to be assigning that to another value now that would be uh, a way you would want to do that so for example if I run this let's go ahead and run this it'll say 5 now if I come down here and set my num equal to something else such as 7 if we go ahead and run this it's going to print out 7 because even though we initialize my num at 5 after we do that, it's gonna re, um, it's gonna change the value of my num to seven, and it's gonna write the most recent value of my num. Now it doesn't save the old values; it just updates it. So it's gonna start at five. We change it to seven, and it prints out the seven, which is the what it's currently equal to. So let's go ahead and work with a, another type. Not QB color. I want tab, or not caps lock, tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of my num in here, and we'll declare a string. So dim my string as string, and we're going to set it equal to hello, the new Boston fans. So now, if we come down here and we do console dot write line, we're just going to put my string as the arguments and you can see that it prints out hello the new Boston fans now if we want to do a character we can just do dim my character as char or as char and we'll set it equal to a or him a and if we type out my character you can see that it'll print out a for us now let's go ahead and do a double really quick. So if we do double, set it equal, set it equal to 5.4. If we go ahead and run this, it'll say 5.4 for us. Now let's work with a boolean real quick. If we create a boolean variable, we'll set it equal to either true or false. So we'll set it equal to true, and we'll print out my character. Or here, let's change this to my bool
Now you can see here that it prints out true. Now we can also set this to false. And if we run this, it's going to print out false. Now here's something that I was going to teach you guys in a later tutorial, but I figured that uh, you guys are smart, uh, so uh, I'll go ahead and teach it to you in this tutorial. Now whenever you create an, uh, a variable, uh, let's just do, let's create an integer, and we'll set it equal to 5. What we want to do is in our console.write line, we want to we take my num and we want to convert it to a string. Now you may not notice any difference, any differences in this, but um, I was taught that whenever you, it's good coding practice to convert numbers to strings when you're going to be printing them out anywhere on the screen, such as a label or a text box or a console, which is what we're we are working in. So to convert it to a string, you just do the variable that you want dot to string with empty parameters, and this is going to convert your integer to a string. So now if we run this, you can see it prints out 5, but instead of printing out a number, this is actually a string. So that's about all I wanted to cover in the variables tutorial. So um, practice with some variables, um, make some of your own, print them out, um, get used to what they are, and then once you've got that nailed down, move on to the next tutorial, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.